What's going on guys, my name's Theo Atrix and today I'm going to be talking about poison, venom and also disease in old school runescape. Poison can actually be applied to a player through a monster's attack or through a player's attack from weaponry or even spells. People can apply poison to various weapons such as daggers, knives, darts, arrows and also emerald bolts E can poison people for up to 5 damage at a time. Weapon Poison++ plus plus on a weapon induces a 6 poison and it's actually different if you put plus plus onto things like arrows, it only hits 4. Smoke spells also hit poison hit splats of between 2 and 4. Depending on which poisonous NPC you attack, you can induce a poison hitting anywhere between 1 to even up to 11 in damage and it'll hit you every 15 seconds. But some attacks such as the Lizardman Shaman's poison can hit up to 30 but that poison does not stick to you so you only get hit once. Poisons that stay will decrease a tier of number every minute so you'll be hit 4 times with the highest number you were inflicted and then it would decrease by 1. There's a couple of ways to cure poison, I'm showing them on the screen right now, pause the video if you want to read them all, there's a couple of interesting ones in there. If you have any of these in your inventory, you can actually just click your hit points icon on any client in the top right and it will drink a dose of anti-poison. Now it's time to talk about Venom, the slightly darker green hit splat. Venom entered RuneScape with the update which brought Zora and while in a fight with Zora, he is the only monster that can actually inflict Venom on you. Think of Venom as a bit of the opposite to Poison, instead of going down slowly, it actually goes up. Every 36 seconds, Venom will increase by one value, but it actually hits every 18 seconds, so it will hit twice and then change and go up one number. Every single Venom attack begins at a 6 hit splat and caps at the highest of 20 damage and will consistently hit the player until they die or they are cured. With Zora, his drops are the items which can inflict venom on both monsters and players and the Trident of the Swamp, the Toxic Blowpipe and the Toxic Staff of the Dead. Each time you hit something with any of these weapons, there is a 1 in 4 chance of venoming the opponent. The Serpentine Helmet, when worn, makes you immune to the effects of poison and venom. You can actually give enemies venom by wearing the helmet and if you hit something with a melee attack, while you're wearing the helmet, there is a 16.7% chance that you'll hit a venom attack on them and venom the enemy. But this only works on monsters, not players. Some monsters are immune to both poisons and venoms, however there's a few of them that are only immune to poison. To cure it instantly, you need to drink an anti-venom potion. Anti-venom plus actually gives you immunity to venom for up to about 3 minutes and you can actually drink 2 doses of any anti-poison potion and that will remove venom completely. The last one to talk about here is disease and this comes from anything Zoga related in RuneScape. It is the orange yellowy hit splat and it doesn't deal any damage on you, well actually it can. What it does is it lowers your stats by a random number. That stat can include hit points, so that means it hits up to about 10, but the chances of it constantly draining hit points is really low. You can be given a disease when you are hitting a Zoga by attacking it, or even pickpocketing any of the Zoga chests. You can just let the disease wear off and then wait for your stats to come back, because once it wears out, it won't have done a lot of damage to your stats. You can easily just drink a Relysium's Balm, you need 4 doses of it and it will completely remove any disease. You can actually use an inoculation bracelet which is an enchanted ruby bracelet and that provides you from protection for about 275 hits of disease. Now one last final tip for the video, you can actually use a ring of dueling to go to clan wars and then go in and out of the white portal and that removes any effects of poison, venom and even disease. It's now time for clip of the day, Haken CX actually hosted a drop party in my clan chat for his accomplishment of the fight caves and thus getting the fire cave. I must have been offline at the time but quite a few people were actually able to show up. This happens quite a lot in my clan so feel free to join it if you want to chat to some other scapers or go bossing with them. And to finish this video off I was sent some incredible clue luck 
uh, a few weeks ago actually, but haven't had the chance to show it. Just Marvin got Ranger boots on his first medium clue scroll. At the time, they were about 26 mil. Nice man, but anyway, thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.